And now it's time to bring out our second guest, all the way from Western Australia. Australia! Priscilla, the honey possum. Well, well, look at all these flowers. Looks like I've got a few days worth of eating here. Better to get this chat over so I can get started. No. Hi, Stinky. Hi, Jay. Uh, uh, welcome, Priscilla. <laughs> Gosh, Priscilla, you're teensy. Yeah. Thanks, Stinky. Tiny is the only way to be when you're a honey possum. Let me show you what I mean. Oh, oh you brought a little clip? We have to be tiny to be able to climb on all kinds of flowers and plants, like this honey possum is doing. Well, why is he climbing up there? That's where our food is. Honey possums eat nectar and pollen, just like honeybees. But you can't fly like honeybees. But we're still perfect for the job. We've got a long, slender snout that's just right for sticking into flowers. And we've got strong little paws that are great for holding onto the stems and leaves. Well, and you have a prehensile tail, right? That's right, Jake. Well, that's always good, whatever it is. Prehensile just means we can use our tail like a paw to grab onto stems. It's like having an extra hand. Hmm, well, how do you get the pollen and nectar out of flowers? Well, we stick our snout into the plant, then use our long bristled tongue to gather up the pollen. Priscilla, I want to know more about how a honey possum spends the day. Oh, that's simple. A honey possum is either eating or sleeping. Hey, that's where I like to spend my day, too. As you can see, when we're up and awake, we're very active. We eat three times a day, in the early morning, in the late afternoon, and then again around midnight. Now, how many flowers will you go to? Usually about a dozen for each feeding. Gee, for all that feeding, you don't bend the stems very much. Well, that's because a honey possum usually only weighs just under an ounce. Oh. Oh, here comes another honey possum. Now, do you live in groups like the honeybees? Just the opposite. We are very solitary animals and keep to ourselves. These honey possums are together only because there aren't enough plants in the area. Except during breeding season, we try to stay out of each other's way. Uh -huh. Now, are you really related to the possum? We look like possums, and they are distant cousins of ours. But we're a one-of-a-kind animal, a species all to ourselves. Cool. Hey, yum, yum. Eat them up. Boy, that pollen must be pretty good stuff the way this honey possum is eating. Oh, it sure is. It's the most delicious thing in the world. Now, Priscilla, I understand you're a marsupial. Jake, that is no way to talk to a lady. I I'm sorry. I apologize for Jake. Yeah, he didn't mean it, judges. Stinky, relax. I am a marsupial. <sighs> You are? Yes, Stinky. A marsupial is just a mammal that has a pouch where we keep our young when they're babies. Oh, like a kangaroo. Or a wombat or a bandicoot or a... Show off. Sorry. Of course, baby honey possums soon get too big for the pouch. Before long, they climb on our backs for a free ride. Now, is that how they learn how to feed for themselves like this little fella? Right, but the first thing they learn is to lick the extra nectar off their mother's nose, like these two are doing. Oh, as you can see, that kind of active life wear anybody out. Oh, she's sleeping. When honey possums sleep, it's a special kind of sleep called torpor. Oh, that's like hibernating, right? Right, but only for a few hours. Our heartbeat slows, our body temperature gets lower, and we're able to save a lot of energy. We'll be rested and ready to go when it's time to find more food. Well, uh, before you do that, could you take the time to sing a song? I'd love to. Oh, good. I'm sure they'll like this. Here's Priscilla singing Power from the Flower. Money, I just 
It's time for today's Animal Awards! Hey, I think that cleared my sinuses. Great! Today we find out which of these is the smallest land mammal. Is it the pygmy shrew? Or the koala? The red kangaroo? Or is it the sugar glider? And the winner is... Shrew, which weighs less than half an ounce and is under two inches long. Mm, the uncommonly small pygmy shrew. Winner of today's Animal Award. It's time for a story. Uh, do the judges like stories? Uh, might as well give it a try. Okay. Uh, once upon, once a upon a time, there was a queen bee named Beatrix who decided it was high time she started her own hive. So she built a little nest laid some eggs, and before long, Beatrix had some worker bees to help her. But they needed a drone. Drones were the only bees who could help the queen make more eggs. Suddenly, they heard a voice. Let me out! It was a drone bee named Benson trying to hatch. I'm coming, I'm coming, cried one of the workers, and she helped Benson out of his chamber. When Benson was all hatched, he dried his wings, had a little rest, and then, he did some exercises. Then Benson, Beatrix, and the worker bees started their own hive and buzzed happily ever, ever after. after. The, the end. end. Stinky, did the judges like the story? Well, at least they haven't eaten us yet. Mm. Once again, it's Habitat time. <laughs> Armstrong, are you ready to go? Yeah. I'll do anything to get away from all these flowers. Anything? Yeah. You mean like going to these flowers? I don't believe this. Who could live in all these flowers? Well, uh. oh, that roof is hummingbird for one. Uh. Oh, uh, is that a... Uh, uh, no, Armstrong, it's a bird in. Uh, how can it live in all these flowers? Lots of birds feed on flowers, and the ones that do usually have long, pointed beaks to get at the nectar, like this one, see? Yeah. Oh, there's the hummingbird again. Of course, birds aren't the only animals which need flowers. Butterflies do, too. Really? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm a... Oh, hey, what is that? It's a big grasshopper. Huh. Hey, I don't blame that bee for flying away. That grasshopper looks me. <laughs> uh, hey, now that's not a bird, or a bee, or a grasshopper. Eh? So what's it doing here? It's an apple-headed bat. Uh -huh. Like the birds and bees, it feeds on the flower's nectar. It doesn't have a long beak, but it does have a long tongue. Look. You see. Hey, wait a minute. We're not in the middle of that garden anymore. We're in a desert. Whoa, hey, I can breathe again. Oh, that's good, Armstrong. Yeah. You know, there are animals like this desert tortoise who don't live in gardens but do eat flowers and other vegetation. Yeah. Because it's so dry in the desert, this tortoise must eat as much plant material as it can find if it's going to survive. Hey, you know, I feel much better. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah, and the hoatzin is another animal which relies on flowering plants for food. Good-looking bird. Too bad about the flower. <laughs> From the habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And I'm Strong the Chicken Hawk. Just back for some flowers. <laughs> Thank you. Over to you, Rodda. <laughs> oh. Once again, I'm Wanda Rat, rodent reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Sir! Whoa! Uh, can you answer this question? Which of these is not a true marsupial? The sugar glider, the koala, the red kangaroo, 
or the marsupial frog? Your answer? I want a trapdoor too. You asked for Ugly. it. Trapdoor! Ah! You got it. And now the answer. The marsupial frog is not a true marsupial. It may have a pouch like marsupials, but true marsupials are mammals. And this frog is, of course, an amphibian. This is Rhonda Rat reporting on marsupial frogs. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake. Thanks, Rhonda. Well, that's all we have time for today. Jake, 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 did we win? Oh, uh, just a minute, Stinky. First, I want to thank today's guest, Barry the Honey Bee and Priscilla the Honey Possum. Jake, I cannot stand the suspense. Did we win? Are we the best animal show hosted by animals, especially skunks and polar bears? We sure are! I can't believe it! It turns out that the judges are big fans of honey! <laughs> and here's Bunny with our prize. Here you go. We won more yeah. flowers? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the worst part is, I think that these may make me sneeze. Me, sneeze. me too! Uh, me too! Uh, 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 Oh. Yeah, and CDs don't bother me at all. Look. Uh. See? Huh? Ah. Ah. Whoa. Well, uh, remember to keep on seeing the world uh, through the eyes of animals. Are you okay, Armstrong? Hey, never better. There's no flowers up here. <laughs> 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 <laughs>